Hi everyone, today I'm going to share with you a simple idea, growing greens in the winter time by sprouting a variety of seeds and beans. These, this is a, a from a bag of mixed zesty sprouting seeds. It's fenugreek, clover, and radish. And this is sold specifically for sprouting seeds, but it's not organic, but it's food grade for human consumption. So don't buy bird seed. I know it's tempting because it's a really big bag, but if you look, I, I haven't been able to find a bag of bird seed that does not say treated with extra vitamins for the bird. Don't do it. Even though it's tempting, don't do it. There's other big bags of beans and seeds you can buy for a really good price. If you can't afford to get the ones that are specifically for sprouting. Today I am going to sprout lentils and the zesty sprouting mix. These are lentils. If you live in a place where it snows, like I do, in the winter, you can't go outside and grow. But you can inside. Can. Even if you're not a gardener, you can do this. Anybody can sprout seeds. There's nothing to it. As long as the seed is viable, it wants to grow. All you're going to need is a jar. You want a screen for a lid. And this is just window screen cut out and stuck in the ring. So it, it's my jar, seeds, and water. And so the first thing we're going to do is put the seed put in the jar. And I have a small jar here for small seeds because the seeds have to have enough room to expand when they grow, obviously. They're, they totally expand. You have to have the right size jar for the right size seed. Okay, I'm going to take the lentil beans and put them in my jar, like a, a half inch deep. And that'll be enough room for them to expand. The other ones are such small seeds. You're going to want to have room to rinse the seeds off. And then what you want to do is you want to rinse, put the lid on, I'm going to swish it around to get them all moving, and then dump, refill, rinse, and swish them around good, and you do that about four times. That's a screen, so it's going to catch the seeds. And plus, when the seeds get wet, even though they look really tiny, when they get wet, they kind of stick together so they don't really go through the screen. And see, it gets a little cloudy. They need to be clean. And you just rinse them. You're going to need to fill this up, and you're going to leave them to soak from four hours to overnight. It's totally fine to leave them overnight. We're going to let these soak, and then we're going to come back, dump out the water, rinse them off several times, and then leave them on an angle. Okay, it's now 8 o'clock in the morning. So you just want to, first thing in the morning, after you let them soak all night, just dump out the water. And you can see there's a foam on here, and you want to continue to rinse these. You know, I mean, it takes six, eight times under the running faucet. Dump it out. And then fill it back up and just keep rinsing it until the water is nice and clean and you get rid of the bubbles. So you just keep rinsing them, like I said, just several times. You've let them soak. Swish them around when you're doing it. No. So you get them all nice and rinsed well. And then hang it next to your sink. After you have them thoroughly rinsed, just if you don't have a dish rack, just find something and set them on an angle like that and leave them that way. All right, it's 7 p.m. and these were just rinsed. They're already starting to sprout. They are in a room that's maybe 72 degrees. 
I'm going to rinse them again before I go to bed and uh, get up and rinse them in the morning and I'll come back in the morning. But um, I just want to say that a, a lot of um, the seed sprouting companies will recommend adding a citric acid powder to each rinse just to prevent spoilage. Now, I don't do that I because I rinse them so often and I don't forget about them and, you know, it's they're fine. I never had a problem. And I also smell the jar to make sure it smells fresh. If it's starting to mold, you're going to smell it. But, uh, you know, and you might not even see it because if you have like a bunch of roots in there when they get longer or whatever, smell it. If it smells musty, just get rid of it. Start over. But, um, yeah, you can add citric acid to it and then, then you, you really don't have to worry about it because the acid won't allow the bad bacteria to grow or it slows it down at least. I'll be back tomorrow morning and uh, we'll see how much they've grown. See you later. All right, it's 9 o'clock in the morning and... And um, these were just rinsed. It's the third day from starting, second day of growing. As you can see, they're growing like crazy. Like these bigger seeds, you should dump them into a bowl while they're growing. I mean, you can, you don't have to do it right this quick, but try and get out the seeds that aren't growing. If take one and squeeze the, see the, the outer shell just comes right off. And this, it's not, it's not soft, but it's like edible at this stage. It's kind of got a light crunch to it, but not a crunch like a dry bean, like, like vegetable like crunch to it and it totally can be eaten at this stage or you can let them grow longer i'm going to let them grow a little longer and uh i'll come back all right i'm back it's 8 p.m at night on the third day second day of growing and this is the zesty mix it is just growing like crazy i'm going to put this in a bigger jar now give it some more room these are really growing great i'm gonna leave these go the rest of the overnight and then i will come back tomorrow for the third day and see how they do it's the third day of growing and everything is pretty much done growing you can eat it at this point you have to rinse them when they're done growing and you kind of just move them around as you can see, these seeds will come to the top. So then you take and you scoop those off and you just keep doing it. Put in fresh water and do it again and, you know, do it several times. Make sure they're really clean. The water's not cloudy. You get most of the seeds off that have fallen off of the greens. And uh, you can take them and put them in the sun and green them up a little more. And, and um, then you just take them and you put them in your mason jar with a lid on it, a regular lid, not the screen lid. And you stick it in the fridge. You take and just rinse them every time you're going to use them. Throw them in a salad or on a sandwich. And you should really try it because it's really, really easy.